Sayyidna Muhammad bin Abi Umaira radiyallahu ta'ala He narrates that Wa kana min ashabin nabiyyi That he was among the ashab The companions of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qala he said The companion said Inna abdan law kharra ala wajihihi Min yawma bulida Ila an yamuta haraman if a abd, if a person that when he was born, he start the sujda, the prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from that day that he was born till that day that he, he become old and he died. Fi ta'atillah in the ta'a in the following being obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from first day till that, that day that he was he didn't die early, he died haraman when he was very old and he passed away. But he was prostrating, he was doing sajda of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was in the ta'atillah. La haqqarahu fi dalik al at the day of judgment, he feels he feels very hakeem that I did not do anything for my akhirah, for my hereafter. So at that day, he feels hakeem that all his life he was in ibadah, but it's that kind of day, the day of judgment, he feels hakeem and he feels that I did not do anything for my akhirah, for my day of judgment. وَلَا وَدَّ أَنَّهُ رُدَّ إِلَى الدُّنْيَا كَيْمَا يَزْدَادَ كَيْمَا يَزْدَادَ مِنَ الْأَجْرِ وَالصَّوَابِ And he wishes, the person that he wishes that from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to return his soul and he goes back to dunya and he can increase his ibadah and he can get more ajr and sawab. It's that much important brothers in Islam from this hadith that we learn that this our life is a ni'mah and bounty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a test uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are in this worldly life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran, Kul mata'ud dunya qaleel. Say the O beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the mata'ud dunya is qaleel, very little and very little. Every kullu nafsin za'ikatul maut. Every soul shall test the zawq, shall test the death. It's going to die. Everyone is going to die. And in Surah Al-A'la, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى The akhirah is the better, the best, وَأَبْقَى And he's going to remain for forever. Not baqi, but abqa is me tafdeel, for forever. And this dunya that we are here, it's a funny dunya, it's going to end. So we have to prepare ourselves. In Surah Al-Duha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned for Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى Every moment that every saniya comes, it's better for Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for before any moment. وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى why? Because in all over the world, every day the people are accepting Islam. They are starting the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are sending blessings upon Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is increasing the rank and the fadila of our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam every day. So brothers in Islam, the nasiha is this in from this hadith that we learn. This dunya is very short dunya. In everything, at least we have to follow just the name of Islam. Not the other thing, just the name of Islam that we are Muslim, so we are submitted to ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So submission means in everything, not just in prayer. When we are in our businesses, we have to save ourselves from haram things. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran, رِجَالٌ لَا تُلْهِيهِمْ تِجَارَةٌ وَلَا بَيْعٌ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ there are people when they do their businesses, they do their tijara, but it's not going to stop them from the zikrullah, from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remembrance is not just that we have to do subhanallah, alhamdulillah, it's the best thing to do, but it's still the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in each and every of our act. When we do our businesses, if we save ourselves from interest, 
if we you know eat halal things halal food halal money these all things that these are the ibadah for us and especially where we are living it's very hard for uh, for, for us to you know say is you know what is uh, that that is 10 times more so if we do something it's 10 times more in old days in previous nations so their lives were very long and their tests were very long our lives were very short and we are lucky so we have to just care about it you know each and everything there are five daily prayers and especially you know the halal things especially we have to the halal food we have to care about them these all things are because it's mentioned in quran Wala tulku ila tahluki. you don't have to put yourself you don't have to kill yourself for example if we eat any haram thing if we eat for example a chicken from kfc okay it's not a uh, halal zabiha we take a test of it and it's you know tasty it's not going to be harmful it's not going to kill us but we are killing our hereafter this life is very short but our hereafter that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in surah al-an'am eat from that meat that is halal for you so these kind of you know hundreds of examples are for us especially if we are living here so these are all things and in this hadith the companion mentioned that if someone do worship all his life it still it's you know little for us when you see the benefits of hereafter and the most more you know powerful benefit is the jannah and in jannah that there is a the seeing the didar of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to follow islam and the sunnah of our beloved rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ma'alayhi wa sallam